Hello Gemini, this is Craig from Hacking Spirituality, and I'm here today to do a love reading for the zodiac sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Not all messages may resonate, cross watchers are welcome. Energy is interchangeable, so sometimes when I say them, I can mean you, and sometimes when I say you, I can mean them. Time is fluid, so the energy in this reading could have happened in the past, could possibly happen in the future, or could be currently taking place right now. Gemini, we start your reading with the current energy of Three of Cups, a reason to celebrate. We can tell by the card crossing your reading that the reason that you're celebrating is is because you've narrowed down your options in the situation. Your past issues, King of Cups, suggest that one of your biggest past issues was someone not being open with their emotions, possibly being emotionally vulnerable with you, or just opening up and letting you know how they feel. Recent past, Two of Wands, there was a choice made. Could have been between two people, two situations, or two different ways of thinking. On your thoughts, you have the Eight of Cups walking away emotionally from a situation, no longer giving it any more thought. In the future, you have a tower, a sudden shake-up, an event, unforeseen and unexpected. In your fears, you have the Two of Swords. You are fearing trusting yourself and your own decision making, possibly. And when this normally happens, we normally have this fear due to maybe trusting the wrong person and being wrong about them. And you lose trust in yourself and trust in your decision making due to this. In your environment, you have Five of Swords. This is a victory, which pairs well with your current energy of celebration. There is cause for celebration in your current energy. In your hopes, you have the Three of Wands. This means you've put work into a situation and you're waiting for your ships to come in and the effort to pay off. Your outcome for this reading is the Eight of Wands. This is Cupid's love arrows, normally incoming messages, sweet messages back and forth between someone you love. The three cards I pulled for you are sexuality, feeling safe, and vacation. Starting off with these oracle cards, sexuality, when this card is pulled, it lets me know that you need to heal any issues that were caused from a negative sexual experience in your life. And in doing so, this will help you feel safe in the situation. Vacation lets me know that you're burning the candle at both ends and may need to take a break or some time off just to collect yourself again. Given all around, it looks like you're leaving something behind so you don't have to deal with a negative tower in the future but can deal with a positive one. Um, possibly one that you are already celebrating over or will be celebrating over very, very soon. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, like and comment on the video, and if you feel the energy is relevant to a friend, please feel free to share it with them. If you would like to purchase a reading or purchase either of the crystal beaded birds you see in this video, my website will be in a link in the description box down below. Have a blessed day.